Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, September 12th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter number 6, verses 5 through 8. Scripture says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, and it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of this earth, both man and beast and creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And all that wickedness that God is talking about here in verses 5, 6, and 7. Then we get to verse 8 that says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Yesterday we looked at the story of God shutting the door of the ark and how the ark represented the salvation for Noah. That that the ark was a, was a picture of Jesus. And after Noah's work was completed, the door of the ark was closed. And, and pretty soon, one day coming up very soon, I believe, the doors of, of repentance and the time of grace is going to come to an end. Let's look at these verses here. Verse 5, And God saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Friends, the world was getting into a place much like or maybe a little worse than we are here today and it seems like evil is running rampant in our world today and it seems like we're constantly fighting evil and and nothing that that anyone imagines in their heart they don't do and and god says our hearts are evil continuously the thoughts of our hearts are evil continuously and it was so great that the lord was upset that he even made man he don't he 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 just wanted to wipe that out his creation out of his mind because of the evilness that was there because of the evilness that started with the sin of Adam and Eve in the garden but verse 8 but Noah found grace in the eyes of God and he had that salvation he had that that ark of safety Friends, one day we're going to be standing before God and we're going to look at these verses tomorrow. One day we're going to be standing before God. And and he's either going to look to us and say, Welcome home, my good and faithful servant. Or he's going to say, Depart from me, I know you not. That's where we'll either spend an eternity in hell or an eternity in heaven. If we keep on the wickedness, if we keep on living for ourselves, if we keep living in sin, then we'll be doomed to an eternity in hell. But if we've accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and we've been living for Him, following the the leading of the Spirit, we'll find that same grace that Noah found. But just like in the times of Noah, One day that grace is going to come to an end. That grace period is going to come to an end. And the door will be shut. Friends, don't be on the wrong side of the door. Give your life to Jesus and start living for him today. Are you ready to do that? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word. And allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.